homme comme on en voit peu. Si notre mère en much appreciate the inexplicable disappearance of my death warrant. Now, the joys of retribution. After the removal of Grignon, my political enemies became reckless. I happen to know that each one is hiding a delightfully salacious secret. Here is a list of items to blackmail them. Steal those items, and Grignon's old, debauched neighborhood will remain under my gentle care. I do hate to be a scold, but I really need all of those objects. If anyone reads it, I'm a dead man. Don't be silly. Are you crazy? We have to find it.
À votre place. Ah, yes. Thank you, Arno. I take such pleasure in imposing my will on others. Is that wrong? Je suis impatient pour ça. Embarrassant. Tu ne peux ou ne veux. Nous avions convenu de 200 pièces. Qu'est-ce que je vais dire à Maître François Tais-toi et regarde-moi en face quand je te parle. Redis-moi en face que tu as. I warn all citizens, he threatens people and takes their things. If someone refuses, the giant squeezes the life from them, like juice from an orange. A man today refused, and now he lies dead. He sniffs the air as if hunting prey. He tracked a man down today, killed him where he stood.
Tu penses me faire peur avec ce truc Ravi de ta... Have you heard of the Crimson Rose? He goes by the name of Sir Reginald and pretends to be a bit of a twit. But he's quite brilliant at helping people escape the guillotine. I'm suspicious of him. I'd like you to integrate yourself by saving him from an ambush. What ambush? The one that's about to take place at his home, the Hotel Fiobe. Save him, and in gratitude, he may well admit you to his secret league. Are you here to meet with Sir Reginald? Want to join the Crimson League, eh? Good man. The Crimson League? I may be a member. I'm not about to say. An ambush? I cannot be apprehended just as my plans are coming together. You, sir, if you help me hold them off, you shall have my gratitude. After him, men! Kill the Crimson Rose! <laughs> Les habitants de cette ville sont vraiment étranges. Thank you. 
to me. It seemed trouble. Brother, relax. Huh. I'm on your side. You're a brother to me. Rest easy now. Hmm. Well done, someone. One less rat in the dark streets. Vous ai-je causé du tort? You squeezed the wrong shot. Du fond du cœur. Je j'en suis désolé. Well done. You seem the sort of fellow I could use in my organization. I shall call on you in the future. What are you doing here? This is a private tragedy. If you must know, I am Amélie Monvoisin. This is, was, my elder sister, Valérie Duclos. I refuse to believe that Georges poisoned her, even after what she said. Valérie and I were quite close, but I must say, she was simply dreadful the entire evening, drinking too much, insulting everyone, the worst was when she announced she planned to denounce Georges to the Committee of Public Safety. must know. I am Amélie Mauvoisin. This is... was... my elder sister. Damn you! Interfering where you're not wanted. Valérie didn't deserve that money. I did much more for the honor of the family. She was nothing but a vile, hectoring drunk. You. If I were you, I'd be careful what I drank. I love a hot chocolate myself. I believe I'll have one now. Meanwhile, see if there's something you want.
Having trouble? It's a tough one, isn't it? Comte de Choisy is to be arrested today. He's an honorable man, certainly not deserving of the guillotine. The Crimson League and I are busy elsewhere. Could you prevent his arrest? He lives on the Rue des Bars, just south of Saint-Gervais Church. I won't come out. They've taken him, my husband, carried him away past the church. They spoke of the guillotine.
I'm of noble birth. I'm better than you. You won't kill me. My friend, the Crimson Rose will save me. Shut up about that stupid flower. Stay still. I shall do as I please, peasant. Someone freed me. Good God. discovered some distressing news about the Crimson Rose. The man you rescued, the Count de Choisy, is a Templar. All the nobles saved by the Crimson Rose are Templars. I've learned that the Count is about to be spirited out of Paris on a barge. It's docked near the Hotel Fiube. See that the Count doesn't get away. Then assassinate the Crimson Rose. several days to get to England. Can't you hurry it along? I'd like to die with my cousin, Lord Remember, our story has <coughs> got goods to deliver to our Textiles. How humiliating. That's right. 
Hold a moment. treated her proper. I told her, send him away, but he pays so much. Look, ropes, whip, that's the sad all right, randy bastard. Oh God, there's men coming and going all the time. I didn't see the sad last night, but he could have been here, comes here a lot. It was too dark for me to see him proper, but there were some odd goings on last night. One John came in but didn't stay long enough to really do anything. And then there were two men, but only one went into Susanna's room. Ah. 
I made that whip. Well, I suppose it could belong to Dussard. I sell him all sorts of things. But, you know, there's a student, strange fella. He wanted to buy all the same things that Dussard bought. Seemed to think Dussard is some kind of god or something. I've got his address in the delivery book. Let me see. Uh, yes. Here it is. Susanna, <laughs> Dessard told me about her. I arranged a time and thought about all the things I would do to her. <laughs> I started to lose my nerve, though, so I drank a couple of bottles of wine. By the time I got there, I couldn't go through with it. I turned around and left. Anything else? I heard two men in the dark just when I was leaving. One of them said, after it's done, come and meet me in the church courtyard at saint nicolas des champs I'll pay you there.
The Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any of his personal effects are missing, well, he gets caught up in his activities and becomes careless. He could have left them anywhere. Unhand my master! You! Shut up! It's quite all right, Olivier. This may be amusing. <laughs> I'm unable to say what Marquis is engaged in. Back to jail. What is it it's all time? too delightful. Really? What's happening now? Murder of God. Those days are behind me, but I do enjoy the fuss. I did visit Susanna with some frequency, but not last night. I'm sure my valet can confirm my whereabouts. There was a young man, some days ago, perhaps rather too taken with my philosophies. I recommended Susanna to him. It's not impossible he might know something. I saw a couple of fellas meet here late last night. One of them was dressed all fancy. Must be a servant. I overheard him mention his master, the Marquis. Afterwards, the other man went into that building right there. What's happening now? Cuidance. Essayez de ne pas vous éterniser. Vous n'aurez pas mes valeurs, Gredin. Si vous désirez une entrevue, faites-vous annoncer. Non, c'est pas cette fenêtre qu'il faut réparer. Vous n'aurez pas mes valeurs, Gredin. I'm unable to say what the Marquis was engaged in last night. It was a rare night off for me. If any, after the degradations that I've suffered at the Dessart's hands, I jumped at the chance to put a gruesome end to the man.
I do hope you're proud of yourself. That animal dressage should be in here instead of me. A Jezebel killed. Hardly a crime in my estimation. Take your due. Je parie qu'il a mal. Anna, could you help me in a personal matter? It concerns my fiancée, Desiree Clary. Some sans-culotte plan to abduct her for a ransom. Captain Bernadotte knows the particulars. Join him in front of the post office and ensure that Desiree escapes her house unharmed. Bonaparte sent you. We are to rescue his fiancée. Let us make haste. Again, I find myself running errands for Bonaparte, and yet he and I are of equal rank. How does he do it? Gads! I've got a beautiful sword, crafted in Spain. But a man can't marry his sword, you know. I need a woman to soothe my brow. And here Bonaparte has already found a fiancé. Oh. Yeah, he's a lucky dog. I wonder if he'll amount to anything. Cela ne cessera-t-il 
donc jamais. Ça ne vous inquiète pas, ce soulèvement de bien. Mademoiselle, we're sorry to disturb you, but your fiancé sent us to ensure your well-being. I can take care of my own well-being, thank you. I see that in you, Captain Bonaparte has secured a precious... God, your ankle is exceptionally well turned. Oh, impertinent, sir! I like that. I like that very I much. Those flashing eyes. Deserve. We must go. Before I say something I regret. Or I sustain a mortal injury. Oh, Who's there you are. This oh. indeed, I wonder? You're a brother to me. No need to be And you, with an alluring fire, fighting with you has made me quite giddy with delight. Oh, May I compliment you, mademoiselle, on your bold rush? been another rush. time, another place. Say not another word. I dare not Sir, even dream. that is hardly appropriate. I am engaged. You are right. There can be no dreams for us. Goodbye, dear sir. Goodbye. Hmm. I'll lose no sleep over you. Non, alors.
has endured many death threats ever since his vote to spare the king. He even took the extraordinary precaution of hiring Armand to protect himself. I hope I'm not to blame in any respect. It was I who advised Ennebert to invite the Gerard. I hoped to calm the murderous political situation. The wine was poured and we all drank a toast to letting bygones be bygones. Ennebert immediately fell choking to the ground. I am Madame Gérard. My uh, husband and I were invited to dine, and I was looking forward to a lovely evening. The Ennebert are known as a delightful couple. Citizen Ennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect. And my wife and I were delighted to accept his invitation. I understand that one of his servants has gone missing. That seems odd indeed. has endured many death threats ever since his vote to spare the king. He even took the extraordinary precaution of hiring Armand to protect himself. Citizen Hennebert was a political opponent, but he certainly had my respect, and my wife and I were delighted to accept his invitation. Well, he voted to spare the king! Such men are traitors to the revolution! He was a traitor to the revolution! I should get a medal! I still can't make this one out. The glass won't break. Odd. Go ahead, choose.
Arno, a favor. I suspect that Captain Bernadotte has fallen in love with my fiancée, and I cannot abide the thought. As I must dine with her this evening, I would ask that you search Bernadotte's house near the Palais Royal and determine his feelings on the matter. Par des temps anciens.
voyez-vous. Bernadotte What a surprise Ooh. to see you here Captain Bernadotte, I'm having a private dinner with my fiance. Ooh. Arno, can you escort the captain outside? She seems taken with Captain Bernadotte, Ooh. if you ask me. I can't imagine she'd be faithful to him. Who would marry that Corsican? I'm told she admires Bernadotte's muscular legs. How delightfully scandalous. Enough gossip. I will teach you to speak of Mademoiselle Clary in such terms. Stay there, citizen! Obviously, for the reputation of another man. But I have a Glad you get to join him. I have made a grievous mistake. You must help me. I have done my best to write down what must be done. I've 
nothing to live for. Well, except another drink. I've lost the love of my life. Oh, well. Might as well make the best of it. Here's mud in your eye. What array of services are available? Look, girls, Shaw is here. We're always happy to see you, Shaw. Oh, no need to get angry. I'm coming. Oh, very well. I'll come along. Oh, hello, honey. You look like you could help me forget. What's her name? You're such an upstanding soldier. Such a fool. Can it be true? Do my ears deceive me? I cannot live without you. But Desiree, it cannot be. You are promised to another. I will prove my love for you, Jean. You, go to Captain Bonaparte's house. Find my love letters and bring them back that I may destroy them. Letters, get rid of them. Josephine has conquered me now. What? Oh, those old letters? Get rid of them. Josephine has conquered me now.
my dear Jean. Watch as I burn them to cinders. Gat, what a woman of passion. Desiree, my love for you burns as bright as your love letters to Bonaparte. Could you ever... Oh, Jean! Imagine, I devise a humane method of execution and the newspapers do nothing but print negative reports. Could you print this article, emphasizing the advantages of the guillotine, then surreptitiously replace the journals sold on the street with the new ones? But my dear doctor, do you not agree that the purpose of an execution is to show the people the terrible retribution of the state? The purpose of an execution is simply to end the life of a criminal. My machine accomplishes this in the best way. I disagree, citizen. We want to see the man drawn and quartered. We want to see his head fly from his neck, not plop into a basket. We all know stories of executions gone awry, ears lopped off and so forth. No, we must have a better way. And thanks to science, that way is at hand. With this machine, built by Tobias Schmidt, I can cut off your head in the twinkling of an eye and you never feel it. Avez-vous une raison de vous tenir si près de moi? Soyez les sous, soyez les fous. Au revoir.
My new apprentice. Harry, we need the new edition printed right away. Il va. Executions. Malherbe, appelez vite la garde. Quelqu'un a été tué. À l'aide. Mieux vaut aller chercher Perron et sa carriole. J'espère tous ces gens qui Here, I'll turn you into horse and dam. Ah, Bloody royalists! Oh. Oh. You won't get away.
Spectacle from public ex. Dr. Guillotin's miraculous machine. Nous allons abattre ces murs. Regarde, avec nous. Gros Jaco qui nous a tout raconté. C'est vrai ce qu'il nous a dit. National disgrace. New machine would remove all spectacle from public executions. Dr. Guillotin's miraculous machine would cut off heads. Tuer cette pauvre âme Seigneur Garde Garde Le ciel soit sur vous. Tous mes remerciements.
Papers are for a patient that we just released. He always blabbered on about being a fisherman, so your best bet is to check the river. We also had a patient escape a few weeks ago. You can check their cells inside, just down the steps. happened? I had a paper cut, but my, my whole arm got infected because it's so filthy in here. Some surgeon thought he had the right to, to hack it clean off. The pain almost killed me. Of course, that's my journal. Proof my assistant is taking jobs behind my back. He's always late and off doing God knows what. I don't care how good he is with a blade. I can't trust a man who's stealing clients. It's best to let him go. What can I say? My boss is a good barber, but a horrible surgeon. I was using his clients to make a little money on the side. Cut out the middleman. Why so fast, 
I was fishing a f few days ago and I found a body floating in the river. Cut up arms and legs, too. And it must have floated here from upstream. I, I didn't know what to do with it, so I took it to the cemetery. I'm, I'm sorry. Please help! My wife is missing. She just come home from the butcher, but when I went in the bedroom upstairs, she was gone, and there's blood everywhere. I think it's hers. Please help me. Murders? Well, some crazy man came by here rambling about a corpse. That's all I know. How about some fresh pork? My assistant can give you a perfect cut. He's a little slow in the head. Came in here a few weeks ago begging for work, but I tell you, boy has a gift. A gift that finally leaves me some time to get some fishing in. I just want to work. I won't bother no one. What do you want? I must work.
I just want to work. I won't bother no one. What do you want? Let me cut meat. There was so much to cut, so little time. So much meat left to cut. Can't stop. Never stop. Horrible. That's the last time I fish in those waters. Have a look and see which weapon suits you. Follow. Found well, you'll get there. Boatman, I know, says maybe you should look along the shore. Try across the river, this side of Pond Neuf. Bienvenue, cher client. Non, tu ne seras pas payé. Et tu penses que c'est pour nous Découvrez le nom de la prise qui a bouleversé notre chambre. Impeter! You'll soon find a law gang of the real patriots! I'm going to invite you to carry out the usual sentiment. I'll strike every last one! No! No, not them! Never seen the like, Paul Fella. See that fella over there? Jacques Necker. That's right, Necker. Man we all wanted in charge at the banks. Now look at him, poor old codger. Can't even talk his way past the border, dog. But he's got a thing or two in his luggage, eh? But he's got some secrets squirreled away in his pockets. <laughs> Man like him. And I'm sure you're familiar with the next service I have.
Elle a été tuée Au secours Par ici Je me demande qui a pu te faire ça.
pourrait alors garder tout le Necker knows a thing or two. When people come to their senses, he'll set them straight. Necker's the man who wrote the ship, set the course, put us back the way God meant. I don't even know who Necker is. A man whose very self contains the soul of our country. God bless him! Not like the last oh. one, then. That one. Catherine, go to a building! Oh, master! Your bloody spine, coming! <laughs> <laughs> 
Really, this is impossible. I'm making a simple trip to my homeland. Arie, here. I've come across quite a lot of money recently. Take this and buy yourself a barrel of rum. And let this revered gentleman through. He's suffered enough. Young man, that is extraordinarily kind. It is.
Yes, Celestine, what is it? I was wondering, monsieur, if I might have the afternoon off. Whatever for? I thought I might take a stroll in the gardens with a friend. A friend, is it? A true friend would not urge you to shirk your duties and risk unemployment, surely? I suppose not. No, indeed. Now, I believe the fires in the upstairs halls need stoking. Oui, monsieur. On your way, then. more than 